you use the word healer and humility. Um, I w- on your website, you use the word empathic healer. So I'm just kind of curious if you kind of define what an empathic healer is. Yeah. And, and maybe even more of a compassionate, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, you know, even beyond empathy, but to actually be able to, um, to, to come alongside an individual and to uh, really, really go deeply into what they're experiencing and feeling. Mm -hmm. So when a woman comes to see me and her blood pressure is up and her blood sugar is way off and she says, oh, doc, I know, I know my sugars are bad and, you know, and I know I've gained some weight and just, you know, I know I'm not doing good, you know. And then I said, well, what's been going on? You know, what's happening in your life? And she talked about the fact that her son's wife had left and she's got two grandkids now and her son's got chronic fatigue and she's cleaning houses and that they're kind of short on money and she's under a lot of stress. And I just reached out and took her hand Hmm. and I just said, wow, I'm in awe of you. I'm just in awe of who you are for all that you have going on, like you're bringing it every single day you're taking care of your grandkids your son is there you're trying to help him you're you're working i said you know your blood sugar your weight those are like little bitty things i'm just in awe of who you are and you know she sat there for a moment and then she just started to cry and then she just said i don't think anybody's ever said that to me so when i when when i think of that what i think about is how do i come alongside a human being to lift them to hear them, to touch their hearts. Um, Because at that moment, it really didn't matter what her blood sugar was because we have time to fix all of that. But in that moment, she was, she, she was hurting. And what she really needed was tenderness and empathy, and maybe even more than that compassion. Mm 